Here's another question to help you check your understanding of Newton's third law. Here, a 20-ton truck collides with a 1,500-pound car and causes a lot of damage to the car. Since a lot of damage is done to the car, well, A, the force on the truck is greater than the force on the car, B, the force on the truck is equal to the force on the car, C, the force on the truck is smaller than the force on the car, and D, the truck did not slow down during the collision. Well, let's think about this. There are definitely forces involved. And if we think about this, we'll remember that we have two objects involved. And according to Newton's third law, those forces between the force of the between the car and the truck have to be equal and opposite. So the force on the truck cannot be greater than or less than that on the car. So we can definitely eliminate A and C. And the fact that whether the truck slowed down during the collision is irrelevant. The real matter is what are the forces on the object? And the only thing that we can say is that the force on the truck is equal to that on the car. And as we'll learn later, it actually uh, has to do with the amount that the two objects are accelerated. The truck, which is much larger, will experience a much smaller acceleration than the car, and hence will suffer less damage.